My name is Colin Flynn and I'm farming 90 hectares here in South Kildare. It's a mix of grass and tillage. Grow a lot of winter corn, wheat, barley, oats. The question of soil health has always played on my mind because one of my early moments in, in, in this journey was when I realised that the crows no longer followed the plough. And I said, what's wrong? And it was basically there was no earthworms left in the soil. We've had to experiment with a load of different applications of introducing grass to, re to rehabilitate the soil, introduce livestock to try and rehabilitate the soil. What they call uh, shoulder grazing uh, turned out to be a disaster on this farm. Three inches down from the top, you have this hoof created compaction layer. While the, it, it was beautiful to have this notion of introducing animals onto the soil, but we went with the animals too early. We hadn't rehabilitated the soil sufficiently. We're getting there. Um, we're finding what's working, but more important, we're finding what's not working. The heavy clays here do not like heavy equipment. And the field that you're standing in here at the moment was last ploughed in 2017. And what we've seen since is the development of the soil structure, the porosity, the crumb, the microbiome. It's unusual to see in continuous tillage land, like land that's been in tillage for hundreds of years, earthworms like that, freely available in a small piece of clay. They were non-existent or practically extinct in this farm eight years ago. Farmer-driven research is vitally important. It is a different way of looking at issues and it's a collective way of looking at issues, whether it is a moth or whether it's a bee or whether it's the soil, because in order to sequester carbon, we need a living, active microbiome under the soil.